This is a range test for the light speed battery, 60 volt, 16 amp hour from light speed batteries. I have it running in parallel with my stock 60 volt, 32 amp battery. I'm running a stock controller. I have the battery strapped down to my stunt cage bar, held down by zip ties and Velcro. I also have it wrapped with a rubber mat just for safety in case the bike were to fall over. I'm running the Supermoto 17 inch rims from Luna Cycles as well as a 53.2 sprocket. Both batteries were charged to 100% before the ride. I weigh 230 pounds. Most of the riding done today was on flat ground either on a sidewalk or on the main road. I did ride a few trails. Uh, there was three different areas where I was off-roading for about three to five miles each time. This beginning footage, uh, this was the first video that I recorded for the day. I uh, already had started the tracking app. I had about an hour and a half of footage from today. Uh, unfortunately, the files were corrupted and it just wasn't able to transfer. I tried to transfer it through my phone and it was corrupted. So this was actually the only video I got for the day. I did, however, screenshot the app that I was using as well as take photos from my phone throughout the day. So I'll be including those here at the end as well. The app that I'm running to record all the info for this ride today is uh, called GPS Kit and you can find it in the iOS or Android store. Once my front battery showed 10%, I decided to pull over and look at the light speed battery as well and see what that actual voltage and percentage was on that battery. The rear pack was showing that it had 40%. The front was showing 10%, but the voltage reading on the light speed battery was 52.8 volts. That voltage rating would actually give me about 25% more battery. However, uh, I was able to ride for about five more minutes and it went to 5% battery and then just immediately turned off. I turned the bike on, rode it for a few feet, it would turn off. And so at that point, I just decided that I would have to end up pushing the bike back. I was just under about three miles from the truck, so I knew it was gonna take about an hour and a half or so. I ended up getting super lucky and a guy who had just finished dirt biking ended up pulling over with his truck and helped me load up my bike and was able to take me back to my truck. I was really happy with the design of the battery as well as the performance and the mileage that I got out of it. I usually average about 30 miles every ride, but today adding the light speed battery 16 amp hour battery pack in parallel, I was actually able to get 43 miles so 13 mile increase over my typical ride is just about half which is what the amperage rating is uh, the stock battery is 32 amp hours and the light speed battery is 16 amp hour so if i were to recommend this battery it would be yes and no uh, yes being you know if you're going to be strictly on the street and you have a place to mount it and you don't mind the added 13 pounds I think you know that's perfect you know half the rate for half the cost of a battery seems reasonable to me however if you're going to be using it strictly for off-road I think it's going to be really hard to manage where you're going to place it to where it's not going to affect you off-road uh, I mean as for me I'm going to hold on to it I like it I like the extended range and I mostly ride on street anyways I do think it's a cool product and I'm happy I was able to test it out and get actual mileage. However, your mileage is definitely going to vary dependent on your sprocket size, rim size, tire size, and also the weight, uh, your weight as well as what you carry with you. So everyone's going to be a little bit different as far as mileage, but for myself, I got 13 added miles. I'm going to be doing some more tests with it as well, um, strictly uh, off-road, and then I'm going to try to do a you know slow 20 miles an hour the whole way and you know with the 20 mile an hour I think I can really get up to um, the 50 miles range so I'll be posting that here in a few weeks or so